I'm keeping you on hold. So I don't want two people to be on hold. Okay, ma'am. Yesterday uh, we did this one, na uh, three point six. Did you all understand yesterday's problem? No, ma'am. Meta fast breaking the address, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Three point six. Did you all understand? Do you have any doubts in that? No, ma'am. Mm, okay, fine. Now I will start. I will just do three point seven. Uh, it's a simple problem only. Okay, yeah. it's a fourteen mark. So now we see profit and loss account of MN Limited for the year ended 31st March 2014. See, we have uh, they have given in the form of profit and loss account, like a trading account. They have given the information. We have opening stock, purchases, gross profit, wages. Then towards the credit column, we have sales, closing stock. Then again, we have other uh, expenses, salaries, electricity, miscellaneous expenses, depreciation, and net profit. Then towards the credit column, we also have gross profit. So total everything they have given to us. Apart from that, they have also mentioned the balance sheet. Balance sheet of MN Limited as on 31st March 2014. So balance sheet we have equity share capital, reserves and surpluses, secured loans, creditors. So it is tally. So the total uh, liability side is six lakh. And asset sides we have fixed assets five lakh forty. See minus depreciation they have charged. On the fixed assets, one lakh fifty. Then the average fixed assets is three lakh ninety. Then we have stock, we have debtors, then we have cash. The balance sheet is also provided. Now, what are we supposed to find out out of this information? Is see, they have given us discuss under the following important functional grouping, the usual ratios, and comment on the financial strength and weaknesses. So we are supposed to find liquidity and solvency ratios and profitability test ratios. So only two ratios we are supposed to find, that is liquidity and solvency ratios, and profitability test ratios. When they give you like this, I want you to go back to the formulas again. So what comes under liquidity ratios? Liquidity ratio means we have sets of formulas to calculate under liquidity ratio. See, under liquidity ratio we have current ratio and liquid ratio or quick ratio. So these two formulas should also be calculated. Now what is the next thing they have asked? Profitability ratio. Profitability test ratio means. It should start with gross profit ratio. So we have first gross profit ratio, then secondly we have net profit ratio. So whatever you know, there are these many information is there. Under profitability ratio, we have number of formulas to calculate, isn't it? But what up to where we have to calculate under profitability ratio? We have to look into the question. Okay, so how many information they have provided? So see when when we go back to the solution, see under liquidity ratio, they have. Uh, yeah, two ratios we have done, and solvency ratio. Yes, I forgot to tell you. Even solvency has two formulas. That is debt equity ratio and proprietary ratio. Then comes your profitability ratio. Under profitability ratio, up to capital employed they have done. Why they have up to? Excuse me. Ye, even up to why? Come on. So up to. Profitability ratio means see we have gross profit ratio, net profit ratio, and return on capital. They have done up to capital employed is because uh, we have assets and liabilities. So up to there they have done. They have not exceeded any other formulas. But usually when we go back to profitability ratio, I told you there are like number of ratios. Okay, there are number of ratios to be calculated. See here under profitability ratio we have almost like twelve formulas we have. But they have stopped up to return on capital employed. Okay, why? Because only liabilities and assets information is available. Then fine. Let's start off with the solution now. So what are we supposed to do? The first one, liquidity ratio, isn't it? Now to calculate the liquidity ratio, we have two formulas: current ratio and liquid ratio. Under current ratio, what is the formula? That is your current assets and current liabilities. Now what are your current assets? Stock, debtors. And cash. One second, just hold one second. So we have we have stock, 
undeter than cash. So only these many things are current assets, which is there in your balance sheet. See, we have what all they have taken stock. What is stock here? Stock is 90, debtors is 1 lakh 5,000. Then we have cash is 15,000. So add everything, you'll get 2 lakh 10,000. Divide it with current liabilities. So now what are your current liabilities here? Only one they have given the current liabilities for us. That is creditors. We don't have any bills receivables. We don't have any outstanding wages. Only one liability is available. That is creditors, 90,000. So divide this. So 2 lakh 10,000 divided with 90,000. So now what is your current uh, ratio? Current ratio is 2.33 is to 1. Okay. So same way, on the liquidity ratio, the second formula is liquid ratio. Now liquid ratio, the formula is liquid assets divided with current liabilities. Now what are your liquid assets which can be converted easily? Okay. So we have uh, debtors, then we have cash, only two things is that. Okay, liquid ratio is nothing but quick ratios, again, quick assets, sir. Okay, quick assets which, which, which has an instant value, okay, which has an instant value. So that is debtors and cash. Debtors and cash. So divided with current liabilities, only one we have under this. So creditors. So 1 lakh 20 divided by 90,000 is 1.33. Obviously, they have asked us to calculate the ratio. So each to one is mandatory. Okay, so this is how we are supposed to calculate then you can comment the differences current ratio we got 2.33 is to 1 and then liquid ratio we got 1.33 is to 1 like that you can just compare and you can uh, term the highest and the lowest ratios okay which is not required i think yeah they have, they have asked you here discuss under the following important functional grouping the usual uh, ratios and comment on the financial strength and weakness so which is the highest and which has the more powerful uh, thing that uh, we have to discuss in the comment okay then you have solvency ratio what is solvency ratio now let's go back to the formula under solvency ratio where is solvency here yeah it is also called as uh, see here second one capital structure ratio or solvency ratio or leverage ratio so under this how many they have done debt equity ratio they have taken one and proprietary ratio because here interest coverage ratio and capital gearing also we have to do it but interest coverage ratio and capital gearing, they do not have any such earnings or taxes given in the question. So these two things are diluted. Only the two import, two first two formulas are taken into consideration. That is debt equity ratio and proprietary ratio. Okay. So that's why we will start with the solvency ratio now. <coughs> so solvency ratio. Solvency ratio we can have first one. Debt equity ratio. Now what is the formula for debt equity ratio? Long term debts divided by shareholders fund. Now, what are your long-term debts here? Debts are nothing but your debentures. Your debentures, your loans, secured, unsecured loans, all those things. Okay, so I think they have only one item there, that is secured loans. Secured loans is 2 lakh 10,000. So this thing they are considering as long-term debts. 2 lakh 10,000. Then divided with shareholders fund. Now, what is the shareholders fund here? Now, shareholders fund is equity share capital. Mm, that is 1 lakh 80,000 your reserves reserves and surpluses these two things reserves and surpluses profit and loss account okay then uh, preference shares equity share share capital all those things comes under your shareholders fund so equity share capital is one like 80 as reserves and surpluses is one like 20. <coughs> so add this see two like ten thousand is your long-term debt secured loan divided with shareholders funds is one like 80 plus one like 20 add it you'll get three lakh so divide it 2 lakh 10 divided by 3 lakh is 0 0.7. So, therefore, your debt equity ratio is 0 0.7. The e equity ratio they are asking is to 1 also, you can write it as the answer. 0 0.7 is to 1 also, you can consider as the answer. But they have not taken yet, no problem. Okay. <clears throat> then, next is the next one is proprietary ratio. Now, proprietary ratio formula is shareholders fund divided by total assets. Now, shareholders fund, as usual, the same thing, whatever you've done previously, that is your equity share capital plus reserves and surpluses, 1 lakh 80 plus 1 lakh 20 is 3 lakh. 3 lakh divided by total asset. Now, total asset is nothing but the value of everything. That is your fixed assets, your current assets, your other miscellaneous expenses, everything that comes up. So, therefore, it is 6 lakh here. See here. Your total assets is 6 lakh. So, this complete 6 lakhs will be taken here. 3 lakh divided by 6 lakh. Therefore, your property ratio is 0 
East to 1, we can write it as usual as a ratio, but they have not written 0 0.5 is fine. Okay. Then next again, they have commented, yes, because two to ratios they have taken, no? so which is the highest and which is the most satisfactory, which is most suitable for the business. So all those things, you can just read that out and you can just do the comments. Then at the end, what is given to you? Profitability test ratios. Now, profitability test ratio, mein, first thing is we have to calculate the gross profit ratio. So gross profit ratio, you all know what is the formula. Gross profit divided by sales into 100. So all the information is given to you. Everything is provided to you in the question. You just have to pick up the formulas and you just have to execute the values. Now, to calculate the gross profit ratio, what is a gross profit? Now, gross profit is here, 120,000, 126,000 they have given. See, gross profit also we have. The value, so write down gross profit divided by sales. So, sales is also we are having. Total sales, how much it is? 9 lakhs. So, divide it with the 9 lakh into 100. 126,000 divided by 9 lakh into 100 is 14%. Your profitability ratio is 14%. Then next, net profit ratio. Now, net profit ratio, what is the formula? Net profit divided by sales into 100. So, what is the net profit here? Net profit also is provided to you here in the question. 60,000 divided with sales, isn't it? 9 lakhs. So, take the 9 lakhs, divide with 100, you will get the percentage, 6.7%. So, this is your net profit ratio. Okay. Then at the, at the end, yeah, we have written on capital employed. Now, written on capital employed, the formula is net profit divided by capital employed into 100. Net profit, we already know the value, 60,000. The thing is, we have to calculate the capital employed. Now, to calculate the capital employed, I told you, we have a formula, I mean, we have a format to calculate that. Okay, start up with all your equities, that is total share, minus with your, uh, what is it, recurring expenses, isn't it? Something like uh, expenses you need to deduct it. So, I think we don't have any such uh, expenses here. All are positive answers over to you. We do not have any miscellaneous expenses. Also. If you would have given an existing assets, miscellaneous expenses, we would have deducted it. So even in the profit and loss account also, we do not have any losses. Loss on sale, they will give you some time. Loss on purchases, something they will give you like that. So yeah, but here miscellaneous expenses, it is given to you in here. These are general expenses. Okay. These are general expenses, but usually they have to give you in the form of balance sheet only. That thing should come in the balance sheet. So we are not taking, they are not given us in the balance sheet. So that's why we cannot consider the profit and loss account. Okay. Usually the thing is we should not take any expenses from the profit and loss account. When we are doing capital employed now, when we are doing any capital employed, it should be like, see, capital return on capital means anything which has come out of the investment. Anything which has, whatever they have spent now, see this equity share capital, this reserves and surpluses, secured loan. Out of this, if they have paid any expenses in the form of assets, that only should be deducted. Here they have given us, depreciation is there, miscellaneous expenses is there, but this is out of profit, out of profit and loss of which has nothing to do with the capital. Okay, which has nothing to do with the balance sheet also. So that's the reason we have taken like this. 60,000 divided with... 1 lakh 80 plus 1 lakh 20 plus 2 lakh 10 is 5 lakh 10. So divide it and multiply with 100, you will get the value. Okay. So this is the answer for. So this is the answer for uh, return on capital employed. That is 11.76 percent. Then you can comment on this also. You can compare all the three things. Your profitability ratio, where it got more profit, whether during the calculation of gross profit, net profit, or return on capital. So comment is there, down, you can just refer that. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear? Are you all there? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. So 3.7 I have done. 3.8 you can take it as an assignment. It is a similar problem. Okay. Do it, all the calculations are there for you. There is no need for you to do any kind of uh, this thing there. All the things are provided, all the information is given in the form of liabilities and assets. Everything what you are supposed to calculate, long-term funds to fix assets ratio. And remember this, long-term funds to fix assets ratio means only these two formulas, two items should be divided, okay? So everything is there in details here. I've also highlighted in the pencil also. So kindly refer this, the three formulas are there. After this class, now I'll wind, up, I'll wind up the class after that. Please do this 3.7 problem and 3.8. They both are similar. Okay. You all do it. 
Okay, ma'am. So, 3.9 and 3.10. I think I'll do it tomorrow. Hmm? Tomorrow I'll take class. Sunday, no? Inshallah, I'll let you all know. Uh, if I'm free at 8.30, I will just send you a message. Uh, you can join the class. Okay? Okay. Uh, who's taking the attendance for today? I will, I will share a screenshot in group, ma'am. Buddha, uh, Buddha, Suhana, Sumaya. Sumaya, you put the screenshot and send or anybody, Akmal or anybody. Anybody who ever has got the, this thing, nameless, can send. Only five people have joined today. Very bad. Anyway, leave the, it's a simple problem only, no issue. Uh, I can do a revision tomorrow also. But then just take a screenshot and forward to the students, ma'am, in the group. Okay? Bye. So, Okay, fine. There's two problems to practice. Okay, Akmal, have you understood it? Akmal, you're there? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, I was on mute. Okay, uh, that's what I'm. Um, uh, did you understand the problem yesterday's and today's? Yesterday's I got it, ma'am. Today's I will practice it and then I can confirm. Uh, that's what two problems 3.7 and 3.8. Okay, practice. If there is any doubt, please let me know. Okay. Sure, ma'am. Fine then. I'll, I'll wind up the class. Okay? Thank That's you, ma'am. Okay. Chalo, take care all of